Hello, I am Dr. Jim McKenzie and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about the electronic medical record. The use of the electronic medical record, or EMR, is rapidly becoming the standard method of maintaining both inpatient and outpatient medical documentation. The EMR allows for the rapid exchange of large amounts of information that is readily available to many physicians within the healthcare system. All treating physicians can view at any time all patient encounters, laboratory values, vascular laboratory testing results, and radiographic studies, provided these studies have been inputted into the system. The inpatient and outpatient data can be merged to give one comprehensive patient record if there is adequate communication between the two systems. Unfortunately, there is not a standardized format or system that allows for cross-communication between many of these systems. The inpatient electronic medical record is generally a hospital-based system that can accumulate all the data from the time of admission throughout the entire hospital stay, including all the radiographic imaging results and nursing notes. One of the strengths of the electronic medical record is that it is rapidly available from any location without the need for obtaining the previous hospital chart, which in the past has been difficult to, to impossible to obtain, especially in acute or emergent situations. Medical information in a more complete form is available to all treating healthcare providers at any time. Medication, dosages, allergies, and their cross interactions are readily available and can be checked. Previous surgical and interventional procedures and their results are immediately retrievable by all healthcare providers. There's also the ability to document the time and the identity of the healthcare provider that have viewed the information. This improves documentation and the ability to protect patient sensitive information. Similarly, the outpatient electronic medical record allows for rapid communication between the physicians who are treating the same patient without the need for conventional letter writing, faxing, or phone calls. Many electronic medical records also have the ability to facilitate accurate patient billing and ensure appropriate patient documentation is included for the level of billing. There are also significant disadvantages to the EMR that will have to be addressed and recognized. Most of the EMRs do not communicate effectively or at all with other EMRs or require the creation of gateways or electronic bridges to connect between the two different EMRs. Eventually, there will be a standardization within EMRs so that there will be easy exchange of information that can be duplicated on a portable electronic chip that would be updated after each patient encounter. The initial entry of patient data into the EMR can be very time consuming, especially in a busy surgical outpatient office and if there are no other previous entries from other medical professionals. Many have found that there can be an increase in the need for the use of additional medical professionals such as physician assistants or nurse practitioners to input the data for the EMR. Many new EMRs allow for the customization of the data input sheets for each practice or practitioner. These customizations can be very time consuming, labor intensive, and expensive if not included in the original price of the EMR. There is the potential for the propagation of medical errors either via the initial erroneous input of the patient data that then will be reproduced on subsequent patient encounters if the data has not been reviewed, but it's simply cut and pasted from the previous medical entry. Another potential source for medical errors is the failure to input changes or updates in the patient's medical history over time. There can be a concern for patient confidentiality due to the fact that the patient's medical records can be reviewed by anyone that has access to the system. This risk can be decreased with the monitoring of who is actually logging onto the EMR and whose records they are reviewing. Simply the knowledge that all reviews of the EMR can be tracked and are password protected increases the EMR security. Finally, and probably one of the greatest concerns for the use of the electronic medical record is the loss of patient contact during the interview. 
This can occur when the patient feels that they are talking to the back of the head of the medical professional as they are entering data into the computer during the, the interview, especially during the initial intake interview. This may improve in the future with better voice recognition, data entry systems, and the tablet computer data entry. In overview, the electronic medical record is a tremendous advantage for the management of patients, especially as they're seeing multiple physicians for their healthcare needs. Improved data portability through individual patient data chips, improved compatibility between the different EMRs, and more efficient data entry will only improve the effectiveness and ease of use of the electronic medical record. This briefing is made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.